So one of the questions that I recently got from, from someone in my email is how, you know, how to go about the whole GDPR thing when you're thinking about prospecting in Europe from Europe, as you may or may not have guessed from the beautiful name and accent. So I obviously did a bit of research on that also because heck, I, I love cold email and yeah, you can definitely still prospect in Europe, even, you know, post GDPR, there's def there are definitely a few things that you have to keep in mind, but if you're used to cold emailing in the U S and you know, the whole can spam act there, then most of those you should already be compliant with. So, you know, starting from the top and first of all, you know, I'm a cold email guy, not a lawyer, so not, not legal advice, but from the top. So one thing to keep in mind is legitimate interest. So if you can. And that's, that's a bit of a gray area, obviously, but if you can, let's say, assume that the person you're reaching out to might have an interest in, you know, what it is that you're offering them, then that could potentially be one way of, you know, saying, this is why we're uh, allowed to contact that person and use their data. So, you know, sending a, a relevant offer is something that falls, that falls within that. So that's definitely something that, you know, it. it you should already be doing it, but maybe you're taking the whole spray and pray approach. But if you're prospecting in Europe, just make sure that you're putting a little bit more love into, you know, building your prospecting list and a little bit more time and effort and make sure that you're actually reaching out to people with a relevant offer and that not the occasional bad fit is in there because that might actually get you in trouble. Then there's the easy opt out solution. So an unsubscribe link or anything like that, just gave you, giving people a really clear and easy, simple way of opting out. Then, you know, the basic stuff, having your business information, your business details in, in your footer or in your signature, that's that. And then on request, so you'll have people ask, and they might even file an official complaint. You're going to have to show how you got their data, where you got it from, how it's been processed, how it's been stored, how you stored it. And then obviously as people request it, you're going to have to delete it from your record. So that's you know, in a nutshell, just a quick overview on your GDPR and prospecting in Europe. It's not illegal. It's a, it's potentially a bit more tricky and can be a bit more scary when people actually start you know, filing complaints or threatening you with GDPR or, you know, complaints, etc. but just do some study on yourself. There's a bunch of content now online, a lot more than, than a couple of years ago when, when the whole thing started. And as long as you take those four rules that we just went over in mind, then usually generally speaking, you should be good. So the great part is that that potentially opens up a whole new market for you, maybe the UK. Or maybe you want to translate your cold emails into a different language and actually start reaching out to other countries as well. So where other people, you know, they see a problem, you should see an opportunity and GDPR could just be a great opportunity for you to make some extra money.